From the sunny beaches of San Sebastian to the salt streets of Lee, heading into Lee Sports Village, the United Stand brings you the best coverage of everything to do with Manchester United. We're here at Lee Sports Village on the Saturday, just watch Manchester United play Manchester City under 21s. A bad day for the Reds on this occasion, but Moving forward, the weekend carries on from here. Tomorrow, it's Villa Park. I'll be there watching United hopefully continue this run that we're on, this run of form which has seen us win seven of the last nine games, two draws, a defensive performance from the team which is just getting better and better and better. The goals are dried up, but the performance is there. Ten Hag has talked about it a lot in terms of Manchester United's improvement going forward. And you know what? I can see it. Everyone can see it. And everyone's going into this game in a little bit more confidence. Unai Emre, new manager bounce at Aston Villa. Is that going to have an effect? United always seem to get the new manager bounce for other teams. It always seems to be an away game after a European experience as well for Manchester United. All this is added to what Manchester United are and what we have to deal with week after week after week. Have these players got the character to carry on that good form, deal with the animosity and the struggle and the travels and everything that's going on? I think we've got enough. The squad is looking strong and the squad is looking fitter. And going forward, we've got more options now. Obviously, we didn't have Sancho, we didn't have Anthony, we didn't have Anthony Martial in the game at Sociedad in a week. But we have got players coming back like Sancho, Anthony and Martial in the positions that we probably could do with a bit of a shake-up in. I talked about this on Twitter Spaces this week. We talked about it on the forum the other week as well, after the Sociedad game. And you look at it and you go, Beforehand, West Ham was a prime example. After the Sheriff game at Old Trafford, we looked a bit tired towards the back end of that West Ham game, and that's when West Ham came into it. West, uh, Villa, on the other hand, not playing all week going into this game, you would think we're a bit fresher. United can freshen it up. No Bruno Fernandes in the midfield as well. You've got to look at that and go, right, who's coming in there? There's one change which is going to freshen things up and be a little bit different. How do we approach it? Do we go a bit more stability with McTominay in there? Do we push Danny van der Beek back into the team? Well, these are all decisions that Ten Hag is going to have to make here. Was Danny van der Beek good enough? He said he had a decent game, Ten Hag. I didn't quite see it, to be honest. I thought he was average to poor in that performance. Yes, he probably needs a few more games. Will he get them? He has to perform well like other players like Fred and McTominay have when they've taken their chances and got them in the team. So going forward, you look at it, you go, I can see one of Fred McTominay or Donny playing in this game tomorrow. But I can also see United approaching it with a different shape. We've seen Ten Hag mix around the front line with Rashford playing as a number 10 behind Ronaldo. Really did not work. And I thought was the reason why we lost all momentum against Sociedad in the second half. But there are other options there as well. Where does Jadon Sancho fit into this? Can Anthony come back and continue his form in the Premier League? He's not quite done it in European games for some strange reason, but in the Premier League, he's been on fire. Looking at it, you go, United have to be favourites for this game on the run we're on. Villa, their last home game, 4-0 win against Brentford. Very good performance. They were just at it from word go and Brentford couldn't handle them. Uh, the intensity in that game disappeared then the week after against Newcastle. And it shows the inconsistencies that Aston Villa are. Losing 4-0 one week, sorry, winning 4-0 one week, losing 4-0 the next week. Can United take advantage of that? Unai Emery has got a lot of work to do at Villa. Hopefully it doesn't start with United tomorrow night and we can continue what we are building. What we are building is a team which is taking their opportunities when they come in, i.e. players are coming in, taking an opportunity because the standards that Ten Hag has, met, has set have to be met by every single player who comes into the team now. They have to be on point, they have to take that opportunity. You can see it within the squad now, and I've been talking to a lot of people about this, It's like, and everyone sees it the same way, and you can see it in the squad players in this team. It's like Lindelof now will come in and think, if I have a good performance today, I've got a chance of staying in this team. And it looks that way. Whereas before, when previous managers, mainly under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, you looked at it and you went, if a player had a good game, for instance, I'll bring back the Axel Tunza Bay game when he played Mbappe and we won in Paris Saint-Germain, gets dropped the next week. That doesn't happen under this manager. And you can see the players actually, the, the, the feeding into it. They're feeding into the standard which Ten Hag has set, that winning mentality that he's embedded in the heads of these players. The never say die attitude is working with this team now. Heading to Villa personally, I love it going to I love it going to Villa. Manchester United have the longest away streak, well, unbeaten away streak in Premier League history. That is Aston Villa away. We're on if we do avoid defeat 
at Aston Villa tomorrow. That's 24 unbeaten in a row at Villa Park. Going all the way back to, remember the one? Alan Hansen, David Beckham scored. You don't win anything with kids. That was the last time that Aston Villa actually defeated Manchester United at Villa Park. That's how long ago it was. That's our dominance in this fixture. Obviously, a lot of averages would say it has to change at some point, but I don't see it tomorrow. I'm going into the game quite confident. I think United will take the win and I think we will move on to the full game next weekend, the last game before the World Cup, in a really strong position. I think the team and Ten Hag, the coaching, like I said, the squad, everything, the momentum that we've got going right now, yeah, we didn't get the right result in the end in the week, but you can still see the progress within the squad. You can still see the progress in the games. The winning mentality, like I keep on going on about, is there. We do need to score more goals, and up front is probably the biggest problem we've got right now. It's funny with the amount of talent that we have got, that looking at the start of this season, that would be the area where I thought we wouldn't struggle. Ronaldo, Rashford... Sancho, Anthony coming into the equation, got an actual added to that, Martial back fit. There's endless, endless options for us going forward, but we just can't seem to find that right combination. And I think there will be a game soon where United actually do absolutely thrash someone. I think they'll just hit four or five past the team. Whether it be Villa tomorrow, I do not know. One thing we will have to be is as sharp as we have been and defend as a team like we have been doing over the last few weeks, which has got us to where we are now, one point off the top four. Results today I haven't seen yet, we haven't got to that stage yet, but there could be an opportunity again that Manchester United make it into the top four this weekend. So there is so much to play for and it's so important, I can't emphasise it enough that United finished this, this, this part of the season before the World Cup with the wins that we need. We've got Villa again in midweek in the Carabao Cup and then Fulham to finish. We need to win all three of them games. Personally, for me, in terms of the team today, uh, sorry, not today, but tomorrow when we head down to Villa Park, I'm looking at it going, I don't know if I would bring Anthony Martial back in straight away. I don't ever play Rashford as a centre forward. Some people prefer Rashford as centre forward. I just think that big pitch at Villa Park, I think our pacey players could really pay play a part in this one. So I would prefer Rashford down the left. I'm going to have to go with Ronaldo back in at number nine in the middle and then I'm bringing Anthony back if he is fit on the right-hand side. I think that's our strongest right now, but as soon as Martial is fit and if he does get minutes in this game, I can see him then moving on and being United's permanent number nine going forward. I really do. He's back in training now and he's definitely an option for this game. So I've got to look at it and go... Yeah, Ronaldo stays. Rashford on the left where he is better and got all his seven goals this season. I'm not happy with him where Ten Hag has been playing him as a number 10. I just don't think that works for him. And I feel like left-hand side, he's dangerous. He scares players. He's got more space to run at players and can utilise his pace even more. Ronaldo just has to do more. He has to take his first opportunity. He's needing two or three chances just to score at the moment. It's not good enough. And even he will say it's not good enough. I do think that... He is the best option, though, in this game. He gives us that target in the air as well. And hopefully it'll be Anthony that comes in on the right-hand side. Garnacho, I think he'll accept a place on the bench. I think... I don't think he will make the starting lineup. He has definitely put his name forward and is a realistic option for Ten Hag now. But... I do think that he is going to have to spend some more time on the bench. And I think the way Ten Hag is managing Garnacho, I think he will, he will benefit from it. I think it's the best way to go about it. Don't let them get ahead of steam and just keep them in the place, gradually bringing them through bit by bit. He's done this well so far, Ten Hag, with a lot of the squad players, not only the young players, but the squad players as well. I think he's managing Martial right. He's not rushing him back. Other managers before would have rushed Martial back. We would have seen it. We would have seen unfit players coming back into the team. It's a different approach. And as much as we've bemoaned Martial's injury record and how long he's been out for and he's never fit, we at least know we've got a manager in place now that is going to give that player the best chance to recover. And he isn't going to play him unless he's 100%. That is a good sign. That's a positive I'm taking from that. Hopefully Martial is ready to go and when he does come on tomorrow, because I think he will, he will definitely play a part if he's in that match day squad for me. Because I think Ten Hag has built his whole system around Martial and it's what we've seen going forward from the tour and then the early stages of the season and when Martial has played, we've been at our best. It's linked up so much better and we've had our best results from it. So I do believe that he will play a part in that if he is in the match day squad. And I think from that moment, Martial will go forward. I think he plays better with Rashford. Rashford plays better with him. 
And I think Anthony on the other side, or Sancho, if he wants to pull his finger out and get back in form, good options, good problems to have. Let me know what you think in terms of this team today, guys. I want to know exactly who and how you're playing it. In terms of who replacing Bruno, I mean by that. Who is your front three? I think the back four speaks for itself. I would play Lindelof. Maguire can sit out again. I know Maguire played in the Premier League against West Ham, kept a clean sheet. But either side of that game, Lindelof played and got a clean sheet as well in Europe in both games. Only through illness did he miss out. I think Ten Hag is going to give him that chance in that because when a player comes out, he doesn't usually get the chance to come back in unless someone else has underperformed. But it does look like there is a sort of, there is a loophole in that Ten Hag system where he gives players a chance if they are actually ill and it wasn't their fault. They haven't underperformed. So I think Lindelof will definitely start this game. Have been my choice anyway. And I think a lot of United fans would go with it. Let me know who's the centre-back coming in. Who's replacing Bruno? Who's your front three? What's your score predictions? Let us know. Guys, cheers for all the well wishes. No, I didn't go to Spain. I am OK, so don't worry. I'm still here. But yeah, cheers for that anyway, guys. And cheers for all the support over the last week for the United Stand and all the coverage that we've put forward. It carries on. We've been here today for the under-21s. Like I said, going down to Birmingham tomorrow for the Villa game. Back for Villa again in the Carabao Cup. The under-21s on Friday, and then we're finishing it all off with Fulham next Sunday in the last game before the World Cup. And then everything just gets a bit crazy, doesn't it, when the World Cup comes. But the most important thing is three wins for United now going forward. Finish this spell in good form. Move forward in a really good position, heading back from the World Cup in December. Massive, massive games coming up. Cheers for watching, everybody. Like, share and subscribe to the United Stand, as always. And we will see you tomorrow at Villa Park.